operations at Kenya Pipeline Company came under close scrutiny by the Parliamentary Committee on Energy for allegedly dishonoring its tax obligations amounting to 21 billion shillings. Chairman John Gumi, however, said KPC is keen on settling the matter. We have any tax issues? Yes, we have two major tax issues. One is where we have an agency notice from the KRA in relation to uh, the Line 5 contractor. The agency notice amount is 17 billion. And the other is a separate assessment that was done on KPC uh, uh, on the argument by KRA that we should have withheld tax on equipment imported by the contractor on line five. Those are the two tax. Ngumi was also taken to task for not disclosing the quantity of oil that spilled when its pipeline leaked at Kiboko in Makweni County and what caused the leakage. And a very touching, touching thing to us was water for the residents of Kiboko because the, the accusation, if I may call it that, was that the spillage had contaminated the water. So we did two things. We have been supplying daily water to Kipevo, uh, to Kiboko. Daily water up to now. Ethnicity in the management of KPC also came up in the wake of the recently conducted interviews for the company's managing director with the legislators calling for equitable representation of the board when they when they brought that report to us a signed report we put them right we told them you did not shortlist this is not shortlisting and the board in minutes will show that we told we made it very clear Fiona Shuru Channel 1 Business News